Hi, Computer Science 1 class. It's Mrs. Miskin. We're going to go over the last lesson in Code.org on Sprite Lab, lesson number 27. Okay, this is the virtual pet with Sprite Lab. So screen number one is a free play. This says, check out this cool pet. While reading the code below, ask yourself, how do you command the pet to move? What happens when the pet touches the ice cream cone? How about the pepper? How is the energy variable used? How can you check the pet's current energy value? Run the code and play with the pet. When you're done, click finished. So, okay. Let's go ahead and look at this code now. Set energy to five. Set background to park view. We can see that here. Here's three sprites, our little character, and a couple of food items. Okay, the food starts wandering. When up is pressed, you're going to move a certain number of pixels um, north and then down, move south, left moves west, right moves east. Okay, when this character touches one of the um, food items, the energy is changed by one and then text is printed out. Then it goes to a random location. Okay. When it touches the other food item, the energy level changes again and something else is printed and then it jumps again. And when your player is clicked, it will print whatever your energy level is, okay? So let's go ahead and hit run. And it moves, okay? So I can move the player. I know that I get more or less points, the energy points, okay? And when I click, I get that number, okay? You can see that in there, five, five, all right. It's moving really fast and it's kind of a small screen. If you want to change it, you can just click and drag here and then it will be a little bit bigger, easier for you to read, okay? All right, so we're done with that one. Go ahead and hit finish. And let's continue. Number two. Now it's your turn to create your own virtual pet. Start by giving it a look you like. Click the costumes tab in the top left of your screen next to code. So let's look over here. We have this new tab right here next to code that says costumes. Edit the starting costume or add a new one that you like. Change the sprite's costume to your own and then click run. So let's look at costumes. Here's the costume right here. Now I could use these drawing tools in here to change the way that this sprite looks, or I can create a new costume. Maybe I want it to be this brown dog right here. Okay. So I would just go ahead and change it and then run. And that's all. So experiment a little bit with that costumes tab. See if you can find something you like and then you can use the drawing tools to edit also. Screen number three, create events to make your pet move on command. Start by using while arrows are pressed along with this to make your pet move. All right, and then we're going to repeat for all of the different directions. So let's grab our while locks. And I'm just going to drag those in. Remember these, it doesn't matter where you put them. Okay, and now we want the move locks. And we'll, I'll go back and change this in just a second. Okay, so you'll want four of those. One for each of the arrows, and you can just click and drag if you need to. Okay. 
Okay. So we want this sprite. Make sure that you change it to yours. Okay. And while up is pressed, we do want it to go north because that's pointing up. Okay. Um, this one, let's go to... See if I can move my workspace a little bit. Maybe not. Okay. I'll change my screen size. Hopefully that's not too small for you guys to see. So when down is pressed, I want it to go south. When left is pressed, I want it to go west. And when right is pressed, I want it to go east. Okay, let's give that a try. So I'm hitting left, up, right, and down. Okay, so you see how I can make it kind of move smoothly across the screen, and I'm just hitting the arrow keys. Okay. Screen number four. Let's make some wandering food. Add two sprites to your world, okay? Make one sprite look like what your pet likes to eat and the other look like what it doesn't like to eat. So we want two sprites. And I'm just gonna move that over here so you can see it better. And we'll go ahead and change the costume on that one, right? And let's choose food. Find something that your pet likes to eat. And if you don't have a pet, you can use something that you like to eat. Okay. I need a, sorry, new costume. I hit the wrong button there. Let's see what I don't like to eat. Hmm, probably that one. Okay, make each food sprite begin the wandering behavior immediately after it appears. Okay, so where is our wandering behavior? We want to grab our sprite. Sorry, I'm looking, I'm sure I'm looking right past him. Okay, so our sprite, we want this one to be the hamburger to begin wandering. Thanks for being patient with me. Okay, and then we want that same thing. There we go. And we want wandering again. And change this one to other sprite. Okay. All right, let's give it a try. Okay. All right, screen number five. Use a when touches with a jump to to simulate eating in your virtual world. Okay. Create an event that makes one of your food sprites jump to a random location when your pet touches it. Repeat the above for the other food sprite. Okay, so we need a when touches. So we want this block right here and we'll just grab out two of them right now. Okay, with a jump to. 
So we want an action in there. Okay. Okay, and it's already got random location. So we want when, let's see, when one of our food items touches, we need that sprite, don't we? We'll grab out both of them while we're here. Okay, so when this one touches our sprite, we want this. to jump to a new location. And then when this one touches, we want that one to jump to a random location. Okay, let's give that a try. Okay, do you see how they're kind of jumping? They disappear and they come back Okay, so they're touching and then moving. All right, we can go ahead and hit finish. Go on to number six. Okay, use set energy two along with change energy by to make eating food affect your pet's energy. The more energy it has, the faster it moves. Okay, so there's four different sets of instructions here. Number one, set the variable energy to five when the program starts. Okay, so let's do that one. Set variable, and it's energy to five when it starts. When your pet eats food it likes, I'm just gonna hit okay so I have more room. And um, when your pet eats food it likes, add one to energy. When your pet eats food it doesn't like, set energy back to five. Okay, so number two, when your pet eats food it likes, add one to energy. Okay, so when, let's see, this is the one it doesn't like, right? Okay, set energy back to five. We'll come back to that one. So when it touches something it does like, add one to energy. Okay, now we know how to change variables because we've done that before, right? So we'll just use this change energy by one. And then we want to set energy back to five when it eats something it doesn't like. So we'll change that here. Okay, all right. Change each arrow key event so that your pet now moves energy pixels instead of a specific number. Okay, so now let's go back to our arrows and we want to replace that, the number, with our variables. Okay, we saw that in the very beginning screen, didn't we? Okay, let's just double check, make sure we got all four requirements. Set the variable energy to five when the program starts. So when run, set energy to five. When your pet eats food it likes, add one to energy. Okay, so here's the food that it likes. So we wanna change it by one. When your pet eats food it doesn't like, set energy back to five. Okay, so we did that change each arrow key event so that your pet now moves energy pixels instead of a specific number. Okay, so we changed each one of those also. Let's go ahead and give it a try. Okay, so you see sometimes it's moving faster and sometimes it's moving slower because our energy level is changing. Okay, we'll go ahead and hit finish on that one and continue. 
you can check your pet's energy value with print, a new block found in the world category. Create an event that makes the value of energy be printed when the pet sprite is clicked. Okay, so we need to have an event that says when our sprite is clicked. Make sure you change it to that costume, okay? When it's clicked, we want to print energy. And that's in the world toolbox. So let's go ahead and hit print. Let's run. Okay, and it's going, I'm gonna click it. So it says six. I'm gonna click it again, it says nine. And that time it's five. And then six again, okay. Let's go ahead and keep going. Okay, number eight, free play. Your virtual pet is virtually awesome. What more can you do? Try these ideas. Change the background to a color or an image. Print more. Yum, energy increased or yuck, energy reset, depending on which food it's eating. That's just like the beginning. So if you wanna go back to number one and look through that code, you can do that too. Add another sprite that interacts with your pet in a different way. Add another variable that can affect your pet or the world, happiness or age, okay? So look through those blocks, add something new. When you're finished, go ahead and just click the finish on here and then you will be done with lesson 27.